Welcome in, college football fans, to another episode of the Fan Attic on the Fan Attic Sports Network. Hey, man, it's week five, man. The college football season is rolling along, and the Pac-12 is playing some good football. If nothing else, it's entertaining. They got great quarterback play, and I'm here for all of it, man. Today's matchup we're going to talk about is yeah. Oregon State yeah. versus Utah. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about yeah. it. The Fan Attic, but we keep it 100, keep it real. That's the only way we know how to be. Talking that sports talk, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Straight out yeah. of South Carolina, upstate, yeah. yeah. 64. Yeah, the F A N A T T I C, the fanatic where we keep it OG. We talking sports, so I call it. All right, man. I'm Coach Out of Fanatic, man. If you're new to the channel, hey, feel free to go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and share it with your people, man. We talk all college football all the time we do preview game previews uh live streams saturday night live stream called the saturday night snap count we do it at 10 p.m eastern time man where we talk about today's games have other college football content creators come on get their opinions and have a good time man also if you just like college football on tuesdays i am a georgia alum so on tuesdays we do a live stream with former georgia players that played with the current coach kirby smart so um Let's get into it, man. Uh, Oregon State, Utah, man. Just a quick recap of uh, week four. Week four, uh, Oregon State lost a tough one to uh, a really good Washington State team. Turns out, I don't think I don't know if anybody outside of the Pac-12 fans really knew how good Washington State was uh, or is, I should say. Cameron Ward is balling out of control. Uh, DJ Uangula didn't have a great game. Um, but they they stayed in and they fought. I think the problem was, uh, you know, the touchdown right before halftime. Then then they got the ball back in the third quarter and scored again back to back. I think it was just too much for Oregon State to overcome. Oh, on the other side, Utah, listen, man, they gritted out a tough one <laughs> against a really good offense in UCLA. Utah in the trenches is, uh, you know, holding them together, you know, until they can get Cam Ward back. I mean, not Cam Ward. I'm sorry, Cameron Risen. Uh, once Cam Rising comes back, I think the offense will be able to move the ball a little bit more. But, hey, it is what it is. It doesn't matter how ugly or pretty uh, the win is. They're 4-0. So now on to this week's matchup between the Beavers and the Utes. Uh, the Utes are on the road this week, though. They won't be at Rice Eccles where they're very hard to play. Uh, listen, uh, I want to say it's Ressa Stadium for Oregon State. If I'm saying that wrong, Oregon State fans, let me know. But um, – they're good at home as well, man. And this is strength on strength, I say. Uh, Utah's good in the trenches, but so is Oregon State, especially on that offensive line. And then you got the running backs uh, for Oregon State, Damian Martinez and Deshaun Fenwick. Uh, and DJ, you can get in the run game when he wants to. He's a load to try to bring down as well. I think that's going to be the matchup to watch here uh, between Utah and Oregon State, that Oregon State defensive front taking on um, – I'm sorry, the Utah defensive front taking on the Oregon State rushing attack. Um, Oregon State was kind of susceptible. Their weakness, I would say, is their pass defense. But <laughs> that's kind of uh, on the other side, Utah's uh, weakness as well, their pass offense. If Johnson gets denied, you know, he's going to do more running than he is passing. I think um, he probably will play more snaps than uh, I want to say it's Barnes, uh, the other quarterback for Utah. Um, but who knows? We'll see if they can get them a early, you know, a early touchdown like they did against Florida, you know, the 75-yard bomb or things like that. I think this is going to be a lower scoring game. Uh, Oregon State's picked to win by three. Normally get three, uh, you know, point spread-wise uh, for being at home. Utah is 4-0 against the spread this year. So, I mean, take that for what it's worth. I'm not giving any betting advice, just a disclaimer. But uh, I think this is going to be another one of those good Pac-12 matchups. Listen, man, Pac-12 at this point has, what, is it six, seven teams that, like, great quarterback play, uh, you know, Oregon State, Utah in this matchup. You got Colorado, USC. Uh, you got Oregon. You got Washington scoring both of those teams, Oregon and Washington, scoring points like crazy. So Pac-12 is playing some uh, – you know, good football. So, I mean, my keys to the game this week is going to be, can Utah have some, uh, you know, I guess a semblance of a passing, good passing uh, offense to back up the Oregon State front? Because if I'm Oregon State, 
I'm loading the box and telling Johnson for Utah to have – you just got to beat me over the top. I, I like Vele. I like uh, the tight end, uh, Keithy, but uh, I don't know how healthy he is. Uh, matter of fact, Oregon State and Utah fans, get in the comments. Let me know if there's any major injuries you're worried about uh, this coming week uh, in this particular game. This game will be played on Friday, so it's a short week for both of the teams, man. So uh, that may – you know, affect the outcome as well. So I think uh, I'm going to go with Oregon State in this game. As much as I like Utah, I don't know if they have enough offense. If Oregon State can put up 21, I think it might be hard for Utah to do the same. But uh, I wouldn't count Utah. I'm looking at more like a like a 21-20 type game. Uh, Utah will definitely, you know, want to slow the pace down uh, and uh, muddle the game up, <laughs> so to say. But unfortunately, I think I got, uh, you know, I got Oregon State holding home field advantage here and winning this game. So there it is, uh, Beaver fans and Ute fans. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this game and how to play out and give us some score predictions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and share it with your people, man. We're trying to bring more Pac-12 fans this way and talk some good football. I'm Coach Child, Fan Attic on Fan Attic Sports Network. We out.